I have to tell you, if there's one guy I'd want to be right now, it would be James McAvoy. Yeah? Really? There, yeah, there's a, an wow. energy about you that's it's like, I mean, I, I walked into the office and we have people in all the time. Uh-huh. And rarely does the staff from upstairs come downstairs to say, what time is he coming? It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a trial, really. It's something that I've had to, to live with yeah. from the age of... Well, the pressure. Four, I'd say, I discovered my power to attract people physically. Not, not sexually, <laughs> not necessarily sexually, yeah. but certainly like a magnet. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes people stick to me and I can't get through. And, and James, door. how do you deal with all the attention? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I see the way Britney's dealing with it. It, it, it keeps me happy. Yeah. It keeps my ego inflated. Sure. And, uh, <laughs> you know, without it, really, I'm a shell. I'm nothing. Um, so... I, I, I crave it, I court it, I, uh, I, I deal with it. On a regular <laughs> basis, you just get up every day. And apart from the work, you look for people to compliment you, don't you? I do, really. I, I kind of walk, I walk down a shopping center or a shopping mall. Yeah. And I kind of stand beside people who I think might have recognized me. Sure. And I say to them, hey, hey, gay guy, have you got the time by any chance? I, and uh, and then when they don't have the time, I say, well, it's funny because sometimes I don't wear watches because, you know, when I'm acting, I'm not always playing a character. I'm not always playing a character when I'm allowed to wear a watch. Yes, I'm an actor. That's right. Yeah, I'm an actor. Oh, my name's that James. guy. Yeah, yeah. And so you're the sexy how, beast. Yeah, I, that's how I let them recognize me. I have a feeling that we have the same sense of humor, Alan. <laughs> good. So, <laughs> so James is 28. He's from Scotland. He is in one of the best movies ever made atonement oh, thank you. and it just got uh, two golden globe awards yeah it did now got best movie and best uh best oh, yeah, score best, uh, score. Uh, best score, yeah. score and best. the golden globes were kind of a buzzkill this year because there weren't any um so kind of a bummer to be up for them and then win two and not be able to actually be at one of yeah. these uh, ceremonies then the Oscars are coming, or aren't they coming? I don't know. What have you heard about the Oscars? I've heard that if I go, they'll they'll happen. <laughs> um, and Gil Cates, are you listening? You know, that's really all. You know, as soon as my signature's there, that's it. It's but you're you're stuff. holding out. We're going to make a last minute decision. I'm looking for more love. If they, I need more people <laughs> to to give me adulation today before I'm going to play ball with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if they go anything like the BAFTA noms went, 14 BAFTA nominations for Atonement. It's nice. Very, very nice, man. And do you know what? It's such a competitive year. There's there's so many brilliant films to even be talked about as a potential nominee for any award is an achievement for anybody who's who's been in this whole mad season. So to get a nomination and to get it in home turf like back in Britain as well, it's very gratifying. Now, you're on the cover of Entertainment Weekly here in the States, you and Kira Knightley, and mm-hmm. you said about your character and the movie in general that you hope it destroys those who see it. What do you mean by that? Well, it's... I think it's an incredibly sad film. Right. Don't let that turn you off. Um, Why do I think an incredibly sad film is an uplifting experience? Because I really do think this is an uplifting experience. And it's because I think that when you share something utterly, profoundly harrowing and horrible um, in a love song, in a poem, in a TV show, in a film, whatever, in a book... Um, you're you're showing that upset person that they're not alone. The reason that they're upset is because the artist, the poet, the painter, whoever, the songwriter, understands being human so well that he can impart something that sad to that person. And that makes us feel like we're part of a community, you know, and, and I love that. So I hope, in order to feel part of a community, that everybody who watches this film comes away absolutely devastated and harrowed. Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> good morning, 837. <laughs> Can I say something? Right? Please. <laughs> um, I was first introduced to you uh, on, a, on a TV show. Not in person. I mean watching the TV oh. show. And you said the most fantastic thing about someone. I'm going to try and, and attempt an impersonation of oh. you. Are you going to oh, do an American accent? I'm, I'm going to give my best right. Yankee Doodle. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, um, and, uh, and you were referring to Mariah Carey. Mm. And after seeing her, I think she might have been shaking her stuff. Um, you described her as about as hot as a bucket of chicken with biscuits on the side. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic, man. I'd never Where did heard I that. say that? I don't know what it was. On television? I don't, I don't know. Was it, it was the on. New Year's when she performed at New Year's? Maybe. Maybe. It was Were you in the with, States? 
Uh, no, I don't know where I was. But you Maybe sat it was on... on Idol Gives Back or something. I don't know. Oh, oh God. I, I can't believe I said those words. I... And like that, I don't sound like that, do I? No, I'm just doing a bad impression. <laughs> but it was a great, it was such a good sentence. Well, I'll do a scene <laughs> from Atonement in a second. Yeah, please yeah. do. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> it's 838. We'll come back with James McAvoy. Kiss FM is on. That is Flo Rida from the Atonement soundtrack. It's called Low. <laughs> <laughs> At <Yeah>. Kiss FM. <laughs> 18 minutes before 9 o'clock. You know, Reebok with the straps. With the straps. Right. Uh, James McAvoy is here. Uh, now, I was just looking at some of your uh, your information, your bio. So 14 BAFTA nominations. You were nominated for Best Actor as well. I was, I was nominated 14 times. You, 14 <laughs> times as Best Actor. Yes. When are the actual BAFTAs? They're the 10th, 10th of February. I and think. those are going on. There's no issue with the BAFTAs, right? I don't know. I don't think there can be, really, because you know the writers of Great Britain aren't in any union. So any, any kind of... I suppose the, what the writers are fighting for here, and completely justly so, has the writers in Britain. You think get any of American anything? actors will go to that ceremony? I don't know. That's Couldn't tell you. What are the Oscar nominations? They're soon. Next yeah. Tuesday. All right. So we need a big Oscar nod. We need the Whoa. Oscar nod for James. Nominated for Globes. The movie won a couple of Globes, and people are buzzing about your role and the Oscar nomination. That's that nice. would be a very, very good thing to have, wouldn't oh, it, an Oscar? Yeah, don't get me wrong. It would be absolutely over the moon. It's quite funny. I, when you interview people, and I did it as well, they go, like, you, you must be interested. You must be so excited about the Oscars. And you're like, <laughs> um, and you kind of go, and you start, you start by going, actually, you know, I'm just not thinking about it. I haven't thought about it at all. Mm. And then you go, I should be honest. And you go, yeah, I am thinking about it. You go, yeah, of course I would really like to yeah, win an Oscar. I, but I you try not or to be nominated for an Oscar even would just be the end thing. But you just you try not to think about it because it's not why you make the movie. It's not it's why not you make why the you movie, make. but I don't buy it when people <clears> say <throat> they don't care. Mm. Uh, yeah, some people truly don't care, and they well, are they cooler than come back the to coolest thing that I've ever they're too sucked cool. a cool drink out of. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but they're few and far between. Uh, but those people are very cool.